5.30, we're on verdict watch in the trial of a former Air Force major accused of trying to kill his, wife, his ex-wife and her father. Defense attorneys claim that Thomas Mayfi was intoxicated by the powerful painkillers that he was taking to treat back pain. But prosecutors contend he knew what he was doing when he tried to force his way into her, an apart into her apartment back in 2012. Local 10's Todd Tongan live at the Broward County Courthouse with more. Todd. This trial actually began on Tuesday and the jury received it just about four hours ago. They've been deliberating ever since, but they have had three questions for the judge. One about Mafai's uh, medical condition, one about the prescriptions he was taking, and then about an hour ago, they asked to see the weapon that was used in these attempted murders. And they are now back in the deliberation room and we are awaiting their verdict. Magnified and caused by the narcotics that were lawfully prescribed, that he was unaware of what hit him the way it did. Thomas Mafai's defense team claimed the retired U.S. Air Force major was intoxicated on prescription pain meds for back pain when he shot his ex-wife and father-in-law in November of 2012 in their Coral Springs apartment. He put that firearm in his car and he went to her house with the absolute intention, absolute intention to go in there and to kill her on that day. Prosecutors paint a different picture of a man bent on revenge for a bitter divorce and custody battle. A man who knew exactly what he was doing when he shot through a closed door three times and then came into the apartment and shot his ex-wife twice and his father-in-law in the chest. I can't tell if that's the psychiatry or... The defense only called one witness, a doctor who reviewed Mafai's medical charts and said the prescriptions, along with his PTSD, could have very much affected his judgment and behavior. If he is convicted of those charges, he could face anywhere between 25 years to life in prison. On, on uh, verdict watch, Tatang and Local 10 News. We know